standard costing. We're, the first variances we're going to look at have to do with materials. And we would do these variances for each of our material inputs to figure out whether we're, uh, our, what we're actually spending uh, agrees with our flexible budget. And you'll remember that the flexible budget is the actual output at the standard quantity, in other words, how much material should go in each product, at the standard cost. In other words, at the beginning of the year, what did you think the materials were going to cost? And we're going to use exercise 5 as an example. And in here, we are carpeting elevators. Does that sound exciting or what? So it says that we manufacture um, elevators that carry 10 people. One of the direct materials used is heavy-duty carpeting. And each elevator should use eight square yards of carpeting. So when we do our flexible budget, each elevator should only have eight square yards of carpeting in it. And we're going to figure out how many elevators we produced. So let's see. It keeps on going. It says during April, the purchasing agent purchased this carpeting at $11. Now that $11 is the actual cost. So we're going to put under actual, the actual cost of buying carpeting was $11 per square yard. Continuing on, it says the standard price for the period was $12. Now that $12 is the standard cost, in other words, your expectation. So we expected it to cost us $12 a yard. So 8 square yards per elevator, $12 for each yard. Those are our standards. Standard cost, standard quantity. Continuing on, it says 90 elevators were completed and sold. So what was our output? 90 elevators. So for those 90 elevators, each one should have 8 square yards in it. And 8 square yards times 90 elevators means we should have only used 720 yards at $12 a yard. So when we prepared our flexible budget, actual output, standard quantity, standard cost, it should come to $8,640. So that's the flexible budget. Now, what did we actually do? Well, let's see. It says one more piece of information. It says the production department this period didn't use 8 square yards. Instead, it used, on average, 8.5 square yards. So, when I look at actual, how many elevators did we produce? We produced 90 elevators, and each one of those elevators had 8.5 square yards. So how many yards did we actually use? 765 yards at, what did they actually pay? $11 a yard. So our actual is $8,415. So comparing actual cost with the flexible budget, our overall variance is $225 because did we actually spend less than we budgeted? Yes. And you know when it's, we spend less? Is that good or bad? Well, it's favorable. So this is one time in your life an F is a good thing. So there's an overall variance of $225. What we've got to do now is split this variance into a price or spending or rate variance and a quantity variance or efficiency variance. So let's see how we would do this. If this is the price variance, what we really want to compare is what did you actually spend versus what did you budget. So we used 765 yards. So this stays the same. That 90 elevators times 8.5 yards, we actual, actual, and that's what this A stands for, actual quantity at the standard cost. And the standard cost is $12 a yard. So, did our purchasing agents do a good job? Yes, they saved us, what? A dollar a yard. So, if I take 765 times 12, it's $9,180.
And our variance here, which is our price variance, is $765. And is that favorable or unfavorable? Well, we spent less, so it's favorable. So of this $225 favorable variance, price has to do with $765 of it. So sometimes when we have a favorable price variance, that means we bought cheaper costing materials, which may in turn um, create a lot of waste or scrap. Why? Because it's inferior. So did that happen in this case? Well, the difference between the actual standard, the actual quantity at the standard cost, and the flexible budget, you'll see is $540. Since the actual standard is greater than the flexible, notice it's unfavorable. If you net these two, notice it comes back to the overall. So here's the mechanics of finding the direct material variances.